Today, I ask you to rejoice all day long, to practice rejoicing. And this will uplift you. It will change your entire day, your outlook, your perspective. There is not one blade of grass. There is no color in this world that is not intended to make us rejoice. In First Chronicles, it says this, 16 verses 10 and 11. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Look to the Lord and God's strength. Seek his face always. When you seek the face of God, you constantly are looking for the image and the likeness. But more than that, you're seeking to place God's face in your expression on your face. You are seeking to be a person that is rejoicing at every minute of life. And when you do, literally, you shine forth God. What is your attitude today, my friend? Are you fearful? Are you worried? Are you concerned about pleasing your friends? Are you more concerned about pleasing others than pleasing God? Are you bitter? Do you consider yourself confused, cynical, or pessimistic? If so, it is time to have a little chat with God. And to ask God, God, I stop, I pause, I take a moment, and I ask you to help me change my day. Obviously, I'm using my vision in the wrong way. And I pray that I am turned around and that I rejoice fully in this moment. My friend, God wants to fill your life with a spiritual abundance. And God wants to fill your life with absolute joy. But God will not force you to have joy. God will not force God's joy upon you. You, in your free will, must claim it for yourself. So today, do yourself a favor and accept God's gifts and accept them with a smile on your face and accept them with a song on your lips and accept them with real joy in your heart. Think optimistically today. Think optimistically about yourself and your future and share this encouragement with others who need comfort. They will look upon your face and they'll be uplifted by who you are and what you're projecting. Then, together with others, your hearts will rejoice as you praise God and thank God for all of God's gifts. After all, God has already given us so very much, and God wants to give us much, much more. And when we rejoice and we're open and filled with joy, well, we are receptors of the gifts of God.